dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to show you a quick thrift haul of things that places, things I've gone. Oh, I can't talk. Places I've gone and things I've bought in the last few weeks. So um, here's a short haul of the, some of the things I've gotten recently. I got the sweetest little book. I love little tiny Bibles. This is a um, St. Augustine's prayer book. Um, I don't know anything about it. I haven't even looked through it, but anything that's like, um, you know, little Bible books or little uh, interesting stuff. Oh, this is from 1964. So that's pretty cool. I love old stuff and particularly religious relics. I just think they're really neat. So I got this cute little um, book at a thrift store. Um, I've got another book recently called The Summer Book from Susan Branch. Um, I just remember getting stuff from her when I was younger, but 
it's um, recipes and ideas and just uh, so there's a potato salad recipe um, cantaloupe soup ooh, um, pickled vegetables um, just things about um, there's recipes and things to do there's pictures of to keep cut flowers fresh, remove all leaves, stems, and thorns that go under the water. I mean, it's just an interesting, cute little, cute little art with it, and uh, recipes and little ideas. And it's just adorable. I just thought it was cute, so I picked that up. It was like 75 cents. Um, I have several of these already, but for um, Fourth of July Memorial Day, I love these sweet little. It's got Uncle Sam. Can be cute. I think I have three of these, but they're like a hand-painted, I don't know if they're mass-produced or not, but they're just really cool. I just think they're cute, vintage -y looking. Y'all know I love baby shoes, and I found these. Actually, I found two pair recently. Um, they're just cute. I love to display them with my stuff. I just, I mean, they're just the old little fat baby shoes, which are so cute to me. I um, also got this, um, this cool, um, it's like a cloche sort of. I actually put the plant, the I'm faux plant in it, but it's, um, it's like a chicken wire. Come with you me. can put stuff in it. I tried I'm it with my diffuser. We'll get away. I just didn't care for it that much. I thought it would be cute with a little diffuser in it, um, elevated, but I don't know. Um, I may actually paint it white, but it's real rusty. It's really old too, because it's and it has a little door that opens here. Right here, and it opens up. I think it's closed right now, but yeah, it's really cute. So um, I may put it in my summer display, but it's, it's cute. It's very rusty. This is the rust keeps the paint keeps chipping off, but that's good with me. If y'all can see this right here, this is um, one of the plant plants I bought recently at the um, vintage market, and I love it. It's so pretty. It's a um, like a mini monstera. It's cute. And for the life of me, I don't know why I like these, but I like to collect them. Um, this is real horse hair. This says 100% um, sterilized horse hair. Actually, I keep them in a basket and I put my puppies love to be brushed with it so they can, they can be spazzing out and I'll brush them with this and they just like, they completely relax. But it's really pretty. It's, it's so soft and they just look cool. You know, it's just like sink together. And I have another one. I assume it's a shoe brush as well or a horse brush. Sterilized, genuine bristle, West German. So it's really pretty. It's an oval one. And it's beautiful wood on the back. So I just think they're pretty. Um, I looked up and found a whole bunch of creamers recently in the last few weeks. They're all ironstone. And that one's pretty. I love the little spout on it. It's so pretty. Usually I get these for about a dollar, sometimes two dollars, so it's just a little sweet. And that one's like an iron stone. Um, this is porcelain, Japanese porcelain, but it's just pretty yellow. I need to stop that by collecting it because I have individual creamers and stuff. This one's not marked, but it's definitely an iron stone. It's so I love this type. Even without the little handle, I just think they're so precious. And this one I've seen a little more for, but it was in a high-end thrift store. And I'll show you what that one is called Upscale Resale. It's a it's a hospice one, but it's just so decorative. Look at this beautiful handle and the scalloping around the, the top and the bottom. And it's got a little a little chip out of it, but here, it's, it, they're so pretty. This is a Palmer Laughlin, I mean, it's just beautiful. Gosh, it's just so pretty. Um, and this one I, this one I 
this is at a different place. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is at a different place, but I spent a dollar for this at an antique store, believe it or not. But it's a little egg cup. It's a big old egg, but that's what it was called as an egg cup. I just think it's pretty. It's that iron silk stuff, so it's really pretty. This is a sterling colonial English ironstone J and G Meekin from England. So it's English ironstone. And this is it's like a gravy boat, but gosh, it's got that gorgeous. It's very similar to the other to the little creamer I got, but it's such a pretty, pretty color and it's perfect. It was six dollars. At a at a um, I think it was in an antique store. I mean, I'm sorry, I think it's at the thrift store. Really I actually got these sweet little turquoise earrings. Turquoise and silver earrings at a um, thrift store too, and they're really sweet. Now that I have dirtied up my platter, this is beautiful and it has all the crazy ironstone platter from JG Meek, J and G Meek and English ironstone. Scalloped edges and the decorative. See how pretty this is. Scalloped edges and the decorative. It's so beautiful. One thing that would make it better is if it was stained. I love the stained ones. I think they're beautiful. Okay, so that's all for that. Um, I've gotten several other things recently. So I've recently bought this off a of Facebook Marketplace, but it's a um, brass. I don't know what you call this but it makes for a great planter and I got this free off of Facebook marketplace it's a little um, three drawer I don't know it's just make for a cool plant stand so I'm gonna show you all my um, um, what's this thing called Monstera is doing beautiful I staked it up and put it on a um, moss, moss pole here and it's doing Great. Looks so much better staked up. I also got this recently. Um, it's a very old chalkboard. I want to replace my other one with this one. It's even got the chalk holder down there. It's so pretty and it's just a decorative frame. It's very old. I think I got that for six dollars at the Goodwill. I got a new plant recently. Um, this is a um, cream stripe, I think it's called philodendron. It's just so pretty. I really like it. Um, another thing that I got recently um, at a vintage market was this these cute little bingo signs. I think they were a dollar a piece, and they're just precious. I, th I love that kind of stuff. So I'm um, all the time finding. Um, things that I love so I'm um, sorry um, another thing that I got recently actually today was this beautiful basket it's such a good size look at that for $4.99 $4.99 it's huge it looks so pretty let me go show you a few more things I've got a little bit of my summer decor up with the um, the flags and Oops, I just love all the um, patriotic stuff. Look at this one, y'all. This was not meant to be a decorate or a show you my design, but I love seeing the little baby shoes and the brass clock. That was from the Liz Marie Galvin. Um, my little service bell right there. And my gorgeous I have another little fiddle, philodendron up there, but my gorgeous, my favorite thing that I've gotten recently is a Star Spangled Banner. It's a, um, I don't know if y'all can see it real well, but it's a um, sampler. I think they call it a sampler. It's cross stitch sampler. It's so beautiful. I got that for 39 bucks at an antique store, and it's so, I love it. I replaced the frame with an old looking one because it was falling apart. It was a, um, composite one and I replaced it so that's part of my summer decor already and, um, you know my typical stuff 
Here's my gorgeous, gorgeous flowers for Mother's Day. I love them that my hubby got me. That's the things I got there recently that I've just showed you. Oh, another thing that I got was this gorgeous um, doily. I got that from the thrift store for 49 cents. You can tell I air dried it because it's crispy a little bit, but I love it. It's so pretty. Let me show you. I've got some more ironstone recently, and I'm going to show you that. Here's another little display of a star and some old books and a candle. Um, this is a star ruler and my sweet little red, white, red and white books. Actually, not red, no blues in there. I need to add some. This is an old Spanish Bible that was completely... <gasps> Oops, falling apart, but I just fell in love with it. It was like two dollars or something. A white Bible. Um, History of the United States. I got that recently at the Goodwill for a um, dollar. And another, I think this is like a Spanish dictionary. I just think it's cute. I just love the little red wagon though. I'll take you over here to show you some of the um, ironstone I've recently gotten. So I got a whole bunch of these plates, these gorgeous, um, I can't remember what they're called, but gorgeous plates um, from Sheffield. That's what they are, Sheffield. This is a, a huge one, but this is a like a platter. But I got these, and I got those for 79 cents a piece. And I got this for $4.99. It's another beautiful casserole dish. This is from the Goodwill. This was from Haven Hospice, but this was for the Goodwill. It's another little platter, like a soup terrine. I got the little saucers, not the cup saucers, but the little plates, like bread plates right here. I got a bunch of those for $0.59 cents a piece and the little bowls for $0.59 cents a piece. So. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've gotten recently. And it's this gorgeous stained ironstone. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? It's not marked, but it's definitely ironstone. You can kind of tell just by the way they look and look at that beautiful scalloped edge. It's so pretty. And, um, these are a few right here. I'm sorry, these are my wedding wedding flowers and I love them. They're still doing great. They're artificial, but they're so beautiful. So these are a few irons on too, and they're, um, ooh, what is that? It looks like a bug. And I've washed them. Um, that's a new bug. These are Federalist Ironstone. I need to take that out and wash it, but, um, so that is, um, I got a couple of those bowls and a couple of the larger bowls. They're just beautiful. I just think they're so pretty and they're timeless. I mean, just everything matches and it's just beautiful. So this is kind of my display cabinet with um, a few ironstone pitchers, um, one of my old rulers and my silverware, some of my real silverware. Um, just a few things I've collected over the years. I'm trying to, you know, just a few things. So, another picture, real pretty. Um, Ray Dunn, a couple of Ray Dunn things here. Um, this needs to go back up. This is another pretty ironstone dish that I got recently. I love those. And, um, a few of my milk glass things, and then I have a um, little carrier here with a few plates. I need to redesign those. So, but that's that's it. And then I have a really, really sweet display up here after Easter with a um, soup tureen and some wood, um, some wood architectural wood there. Uh, a big wooden toolbox with um, these. This was a gift for Mother's Day last year with the um, beautiful sunflower which I love and then I added to it with this one they're different design different designs different colors because they're last year a big ironstone platter and some amber bottles with some um, 
white sunflowers, cream sunflowers coming out. And this is just more, this is an old, old um, stitching um, embroidery maybe. Sorry about that. Um, it's not framed or anything. I'd love to get it framed if I could ever find a frame, a round a oval frame like that. I think that would be beautiful. But it's just a little display in my office that's um, that's cute because I love summer and I love sunflowers and of course my iron stone, but that's it right there. I'll try to show y'all some footage of my um, my um, thrifting and antiquing and stuff. There's a bunch of my antique quilts, and I also got this beautiful um, lamp recently with the uh, mercury glass and this beautiful sign. I love Bible quotes, and it's just so pretty Bible verses. So that's it for now. But, um, in my office is my antique cameras and a beautiful sign, so that's it though.